Hi. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is looking at the relationship between pressure, temperature, and volume. Now, I've talked about it in class, and we should have a pretty good idea of it. But what I'm going to show you today is just a, a really quick, sort of simple reminder of how you can remember the relationships between pressure, temperature, temperature and volume without really uh, you know, struggling too much with it. So what I first want you to do is get a piece of uh, just white, loose leaf paper. That's basically all we need. Now, or uh, printer paper. So what you're going to do, first take it, and I would like you to fold it, I'll just show you on here, fold it lengthwise, okay? Preferably as long as you can. Okay, got it like that. Now, on that paper, while it's folded lengthwise, I would like you to write down on it, in big letters, pressure, well, P for pressure, T for temperature, and V for volume. Now, once you get this done, you should be able to then determine quite easily the relations between pressure, temperature, and volume, whether they're direct or indirect. So, let's take a look at this. Now, let's look at it on here since it's backwards on there. So, what you're going to do, you've got this, you've got it folded in half. The fold doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, what I want you to do then is Let's say uh, that we are going to hold volume constant. Actually, no, let's say we're going to hold temperature constant first. So what I want you to do is put your finger on temperature. Now, let's say we're going to increase the pressure. I want you to watch very carefully what happens to volume on here. So as pressure increases, where does volume go? It goes down from where it started at. It went down. Let's do the other thing. Let's say uh, as pressure decreases, what happens to volume? Oh, it goes up. Look at that. So that is what we would call an indirect or inverse relationship. Now, let's take a look at volume being constant. So notice, if volume's constant and I increase temperature, what happens to pressure? Well, pressure goes up. If I decrease temperature, what happens to temperature or uh, pressure? it goes down. So this right here between pressure and temperature is what we call a direct relationship. Whatever happens to one happens to the other. Finally, as you can maybe guess, if we hold pressure constant and look at the relationship between temperature and volume, well, as volume goes up, temperature goes up. As volume goes down, temperature goes down. So that is again another direct relationship.